once again. Here's your second emergency podcast of the season. This time, I need to address an issue that's been lingering for quite some time in Major League Baseball. And it involves Rob Manfred um, and the job that he's doing as baseball's commissioner. Now, I think that over the past you know, few episodes, um, even last season, you guys have heard my opinions on Rob Manfred. I've had a few guests on here um, who have exposed some things about Rob, Rob Manfred and Major League Baseball as a whole. Uh, that's really troublesome. And I just want to j- just let me just preface this real quick by saying that I am a, a I'm a huge baseball fan. I can't like like my life revolves my life revolves around baseball literally. I write for Call to the Pen. I'm an editor on that website. I watch baseball games nonstop. I like analyzing baseball players, uh, keeping up to date on baseball stats, so on and so forth. But I'm also someone who likes to get to the bottom of certain things. I like the truth. I don't like being lied to. I don't think any of us do, right? So let's get right into it. So last week, uh, the Houston Astros faced off against the Chicago Cubs in Houston. Uh, Albert Almora was at the plate when he hits a line drive into the stands and it strikes this little girl. And you could see that Albert, Albert Almora was really upset after the incident. He was inconsolable, started crying in the arms of a security guard. Uh, after the game and the post game interview, he still is very, you could tell he's very upset. He vows to um, have a relationship with a girl and her, and her family for the rest of, her, of his life. Um, so in that instance, it ended, it, it, it was, it was a happy ending, right? And entering the season in fairness, baseball, uh, ruled that all teams should extend their protective netting up to the dugout and all teams have done that. Most, te- uh, not most, a lot of teams have extended it even further because the fact of the matter is this is a sport that keeps, uh, promoting its exit velocity. And when a player hits a ball super duper hard, it gets promoted hard in the game. And um, so a lot of teams extended the protective netting, uh, understanding that it is dangerous for fans to sit in the stands, especially in this day and age when people are distracted by their cell phones, um, where, where stadiums are asking fans to interact with the stadium on their cell phones. Um, so they've done that in order to keep the fans safe. But not all teams have done that. And a week after the incident with Albert Almora, Rob Manfred has finally decided to speak. And he essentially says that that baseball's priority is fan safety. But then he also says this. The reason why I hesitate with beyond the dugout, meaning why he hesitates to uh, to rule that teams have to extend their netting be, uh, beyond the dugout. So the reason why I hesitate why, uh, with beyond the dugout, I mean, a lot of clubs are beyond the dugout already, but there is a balance here. We do have fans that are vocal about the fact that they don't want to sit behind nets. Let me repeat that. We have fans that are vocal that they don't want to sit behind nets. So now all of a sudden, baseball's taking the advice of fans that don't want to sit behind nets. So can you explain to me why seats behind home plate, which has always been behind the net, are the most expensive seats in a stadium? Do those fans not care? Um. As baseball's commissioner, you shouldn't take a stance that the that the reason why you're not extending netting is because of the fans, because flat out, that's just a crock of shit. Your stance should be that baseball's number one priority is fan safety. And because of this, we are working hard to have all 30 baseball teams extend their netting beyond the dugout by the start of the 2020 season. People, are under, people will understand that you can't force teams to do this in season. Even though there are teams that go on really long road trips and they can't absolutely do it. These are teams, every single one of them, even the Tampa Bay Rays are worth at least a billion dollars. You can get this done. Say the truth, Rob. You don't want to get it done. Not only do you price fans out of stadiums now, you can't sit in the lower level because it's too expensive. The hot dogs are too expensive. The soda's too expensive. The beer's too expensive. So you're pricing the fans out of the stadium. Not only are you doing that, you're also saying to them, you're going to pay what we are requesting for these seats, which is astronomical in some senses. But you're, we're not, we don't give a shit if you're safe or not. 
That's what you're saying. So don't don't prance around and blame fans for you not being able to do your job properly. And I want to I want to just real quick on the other on the other side of this, Rob Manfred Rob Manfred cannot force teams to do this. He's the commissioner. He represents the owners of these league uh, of 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 baseball. But he can take a stance. He can have an opinion. And in having that opinion, you're sending the message to the league that this is what we want to do. So we're going to work on this. You're at least putting the face out there that you do care about fan safety. But the fact of the matter is, Rob, in your statement, you have told us, the fans, that you do not care about fan safety. So long as baseball keeps raking in uh, record numbers of revenue. And here's the thing. While baseball is healthy financially, you watch these games and these stadiums are empty, people. And in, in taking this position with the netting against fan safety, in continuing to um, outprice the regular fan uh, to get into baseball games, you are not investing in the future of the game, and therefore, it will suffer in the long run. So I need you to wake up, Rob. I need you to wake up. And since I'm here, let's address another issue. Recently, we've seen baseball teams uh, step out into the field wearing uh, military-type uniforms, so uh, with camouflage. The, the baseball caps have camouflage. Uh, some uniforms have camouflage, like the socks and so on and so forth. Everyone is for the troops. We are all in favor of those men and women Fewer than 1% of our population who sacrifice their lives so that we can sit here and do things like I'm doing right now, which is recording a podcast. So here's my issue. Uh, and and uh, Nick Francona, who we had on the show, has raised this issue numerous times. He continues to do so on Twitter. I suggest you follow him at Nick Francona on Twitter. What I need to know from Major League Baseball and what all fans want to know is, are these proceeds, are 100% of these proceeds really going to support veterans? Because there seems to be a lot of questions out there as to whether or not that's truly what's happening. And this is another one of those instances in which we have to start wondering what is the motive uh, behind Rob Manfred and Major League Baseball's decision making. So, I don't know. The MLB netting issue seems like a no brainer to me. People don't stop going to hockey games because they have to sit behind glass. You know what I mean? These balls are coming at you sometimes at 120 miles an hour. And what's it going to take before we do something about it? Is it going to take a death? It shouldn't have to come to that. So this is your emergency podcast brought to you by Audible. Go to audibletrial.com forward slash welcome to the show to get a free audio book download and a 30-day free trial. That's audibletrial.com forward slash welcome to the show. And if you have two minutes, please rate and review our podcast. We will be eternally grateful. It helps people to find our podcast. And yeah, and, and we just we want to hear from the fans. So follow us on Twitter. I'm at MannyGo3 on Twitter. You can follow the show at WT The Show on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. And with that, peace out, everybody. Peace.